Hi ladies, I want to welcome you tonight to Back to School with Essential Oils. So I'm going to give everyone a couple of minutes to come on, or a few seconds I should say. Um, in my diffuser tonight, I have uh, a great blend for focus. I put in here peppermint, rosemary, and tangerine. So if you are a person that needs like, uh, you, you need your mind to be stimulated, you need to feel a little invigorated, that would be a great blend for you. Hi Lori. Um, I'm just waiting for a couple people to come on and then we'll start. But tonight we're going to be talking about um, getting ready to go back to school. So I know a lot of parents are getting ready for that. Teachers are getting ready for that. I'm sorry I see a fly in my way here. Um, so I, I'm going to keep it short. I want to make sure everybody has enough time to uh, you know do what they need to do. So I'm going to keep it at 20 minutes and I'm going to go through some of the things that I think are really helpful for uh, getting your kids ready for school and preventing illness and so forth. So, uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Amanda Mancini. I am a personal trainer, I'm a health and wellness coach, and I have an online company called Pure Fit Women. So I help women get healthy, I help them get uh, change their lifestyle, go more holistic, and uh, just feel better overall with their themselves and their family, and kind of go from there. So, um, tonight we're going to talk about uh, getting back into school, keeping the kids healthy, keeping moms, uh, you know, with the lowest amount of stress possible, and just making an easy transition. So, um, excuse me, I've been, uh, my kids are going to be going into 10th grade this year, so I've been doing the school thing for a while, and you get into routines, and I think if you can develop some uh, healthy routines in the morning and after school and at night, you're going to have less illness in the house and less, uh, you know, last minute things pop up that you can't deal with. Uh, so for me, thank God, my kids pretty much are healthy uh, through diet as, as being the first and foremost thing to focus on. I think that by giving your kids the healthiest diet possible that you'll avoid a lot of issues throughout the year. But with the essential oils, you can have a toolbox at your, at, you know, on hand to help you when those things do come up, uh, you know, colds and, uh, you know, stomach issues, flus and flu and those types of things. So for those of you that are new to essential oils, um, they're, they've been around for over 5,000 years. Uh, they were around before there were medications, they were around before there were doctors and hospitals, and that's what people used years ago to help with things like uh, immune support, respiratory support, skin issues. Um, you know, colds, those kinds of things. And they're also great for things like focus and concentration. Um, they're great for allergies, if you're dealing with things like that. Uh, emotional support for anxiety and stress. And I know a lot of kids have issues with those things going back to school and just getting anxious about having to, um, you know, deal with homework and tests and friends and, and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to start with today is why did I choose... Uh, the company that I work with, which is doTERRA. Um, when you're dealing with essential oils, there are, uh, th there's basically no governing body uh, as far as essential oils go. So there are hundreds of companies that can put pretty much anything that they want in the bottle. So you, you might be using essential oils that you think are good, but there are ways to tell, and I'll go into a little bit of that at the end, if an oil is really from a reputable company. But at the end of the day, if it's not a pure essential oil, it's just not gonna do what it's intended to do. So if you're using it for you know, anxiety or stress or for immune support, and it has uh, things like toxins and fillers in it, which you might not know being you know, new to essential oils, uh, you can end up using a product that's just not gonna work or worse, have negative effects on your body. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, I'm going to go over three ways you can use your oils with you or your children. So the three ways are uh, by diffusing or aromatically. So if you're not familiar with what a diffuser is, this is what uh, my diffuser looks like. You put some water in it and you add essential oils to that to help um, you know, with purifying the air, killing germs and pathogens in the home. They're great for that. And they're great for de you know, helping you to uh, de-stress at night, relax and help with sleep. Uh, it's great for the morning to kind of uplift the house, you know, people in the home, if they're waking up in the morning, it's great for that. 
So we use them aromatically. The second way you can use it is topically. So you can put them directly on your body. And usually you'll put it in either the area of concern where you're having an issue, or you could put it on the bottom of, the, you know, if you're dealing with a child or you don't like the smell of the oil, you can put it on the bottom of the feet, or you can put it along the spine if you're dealing with the child and you don't want them to uh, touch the oils and then touch their face or their hands. So that's the second way. And then the third way you can use it is internally. So some people will take, you know, lemon in their water. Um, you could do like grapefruit oil in your water if you need like a little detox. Um, and people use it for like immune support. So if you have, um, you know, if you're, tr if you're trying to boost your immune system, you've been sick, there are certain essential oils you can use internally. Um, so we're going to focus on the children tonight. And so what I'm going to do is, excuse me again, I think I'm having an allergy right now. But um, parents be, uh, will ask me a lot of times, what can they do to help their kids kind of like get energized in the morning? And you're usually dealing with kids that are groggy. If you have teenagers like I do, it's very hard to get them up in the morning. Everybody's kind of dragging. So the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I put out the diffuser. So with the diffuser, certain essential oils that you'll put in there in the morning can actually fill the air and help uh, it uplift the mood, help wake you up, create an alertness. And some great ones that you can use in the morning would be um, one of my favorites is peppermint which I mentioned when I first came on. So peppermint's a great oil for, it's very invigorating, it creates a mental alertness, so it's wonderful in the morning. And I like to pair it with rosemary, which is also for mental clarity. And then citrus oil, so it could be lemon, lime, tangerine, uh, wild orange, any of those are great. I do love um, tangerine, actually, it's a nice smell to it. But you can put them in the diffuser, all three, and I'll usually do uh, three to four drops of each, and you'll find that when everyone comes downstairs, it's going to have this uplifting smell, and it's, uh, it's going to put you in a good mood. So when you're diffusing oils aromatically, the molecules will actually enter the, the room, and as you inhale them, they enter the limbic system of your brain, and it helps with an emotional response. So in this case, we want to everyone to be happy. You want to be you know, ready for your day. So that's my favorite one in the morning. Um, some other great ones you can use is... Um, wild orange, any citrus oils, and we have uh, some blends that are great as well. So people like Balance, so if you have people that are kind of moody in the morning, you might want to try a blend called Balance. It's kind of a grounding oil and will kind of even everybody out. So sometimes I'll do Balance and a citrus oil together, which is very nice as well. Um, so that's one thing to do in the morning when they get up. Uh, the second thing I always do is when you give your children breakfast, I always pair it with a probiotic. So if you have a child that has stomach issues or they get sick often, uh, generally what's going on in the gut is going to control the whole body. So by adding in a probiotic to their food or along with their food, you're going to give them, help them with better digestion and they're just going to feel better overall. So I've been using probiotics uh, for years since my kids were babies and knock on wood, uh, again, we don't have too many issues in the house, but we use this for the children. It's called PB Assist. And what I like about it is you can put it in their water or you can put it in their cereal, whatever it is they're eating. But it's like a little sugar packet, but it's not sugar. It's probiotics. And it's great for the kids. Uh, every morning you start them off with those good, you know, a good solid breakfast, but have the probiotics in there. And it's going to help them with some regularity in the bathroom as well. So that's important. And, and adults can take it as well. So I, I'm very much into doing a probiotic in the morning a great uh, whole food supplement, and um, uh, vitamin D. So vitamin D is great as well. I do that in the morning with the kids every day. Um, okay, so now with immune boosting, this is something that I know a lot of people struggle with. As soon as the kids go back to school, everyone's getting sick. And the reality is if your immune system is strong, your body will fight off a lot of the pathogens that are circulating there at school and uh, coming home with the children, and it's when you have lack of sleep and you have uh, your immune system is depressed in some way, whether it's because your diet is not right, or you know, I'm speaking about the children and the adults, the diet isn't right, you're not sleeping enough, uh, those things are going to lower your immunity. And of course, being around people that are sick, it's more difficult to prevent illness. So, we use um, certain essential oils that will help literally kill the pathogens in the air. Uh, certain things like cinnamon and clove and thyme and rosemary, those types of oils are great for killing airborne pathogens. Uh, lemon, uh, there's a lot of different ones, but we use in my home a uh, blend called On Guard. So if you're already using these, you know, doTERRA brand oils, 
This is probably my most used oil in the house. I love it because you can clean and kill every germ in the house with this one product. And you can also kill any germs that are going on um, airborne, of course, when, they, when people are in the home. But thirdly, you can put it on your body to help protect and boost your immune system. So basically, on a, on a daily basis, around that time of the year when everyone's sick, I will diffuse this in my diffuser uh, in the afternoons when the kids come home from school. If anyone is sick in the house, right away this will go into a diffuser. You'll put about six to eight drops of that. And it has a great smell. It smells like uh, cinnamon, like a fall smell to it. And it's, it's pleasant. So you can use that in your diffuser, but on top of that, you want to put it on your body. So my kids will, and myself included, if I'm feeling under the weather, I just take this roller bottle. So this is what um, the two differences between uh, an On Guard oil and the On Guard roll, touch blend, we call it, is you don't have to um, worry. You can just apply this right to your body. So it's diluted already. And when I say dilute, diluted, it means that it's diluted with coconut oil. So this is fractionated coconut oil. So if you don't know what that is, it means that it stays in the liquid form all the time. And so you can dilute your oils with coconut oil so that you prevent a skin sensitivity. And generally when you're dealing with children, you always want to dilute your oils. So if you buy a touch blend like this, it's already diluted. It already has a proper amount of oils in there and you can apply it directly to your body, typically on the bottom of the feet or on the back of the spine. So I'll do this every day for the kids before they go to school. So, um, oh, hi, Barbara. It's, it's okay. I know she can't stay on. You can uh, watch it later. And Sue, I see, said, love rosemary, which is great for memory. Yes, I love rosemary. I'm very uh, drawn to the uh, aroma of rosemary, and I think it's very invigorating for me, especially with peppermint. For some reason, I just love it. And I also wash my hair with it. You can put it in um, your shampoo and just wash your hair, and it's going to feel great. So I love it for that. Um, so I would highly recommend On Guard for your children morning and night on the bottoms of the feet or on the back of the spine to help boost their immune system. That's a, a definite go-to in my house. Um, okay, so let's move on. All right, so first thing that I always want to say, there's certain oils that are going to help them throughout the day. With, so we start in the morning with your oils that are great for uplifting the mood. You're giving them a probiotic. I'm trying to go through a typical day with the kids so I don't forget anything. Um, and then the next thing you, I do is obviously you want them to brush their teeth before they go to school. So if you are using regular toothpaste with your children, you know, Colgate, um, I don't even remember the names of the other brands, uh, you know, Crest or whatever, those toothpastes contain fluoride and other chemicals in there that are really, really bad for your children and they're bad for you. And you don't need fluoride or any of these other chemicals in your toothpaste at all. And by Putting it in your mouth, you're not only swallowing small amounts of it every day, but you're also, it's going into your gums and the rest of your oral cavity and can cause a lot of issues. So do your research on that. I don't want to go into the details of what regular toothpaste can do for you and your, to you and your children. But if you switch over to a natural toothpaste, you don't have to worry about um, ingesting these harmful poisons into your body. They are neurotoxins and they cause <clears throat> a ton of disturbance. So I use uh, On Guard toothpaste, which is the same thing, the same oils that are in here go in here. They're great for oral health. Clove, cinnamon, amazing for oral health. And it tastes delicious. The kids love it. Your teeth are going to be as white as ever, and you won't have to worry about uh, poisoning your body. Okay, so that's uh, something we do next, obviously, after you know your breakfast and everything. You want to make sure that the children are using safe products on their little bodies every day. Um, okay, so a couple of oils that I think are really great for the kids uh, during the school day. If you have a child that is dealing with uh, concentration and focus issues, uh, ADD, ADHD, anything along those lines, or if you're a person that has issues with that as well, we use a great blend called Intune. Intune is amazing. It's a focus blend. I'm very drawn to this uh, blend. I use it before I go and work out in the morning, and I use it before I sit down at the computer, I know, computer and I know, I know I need to concentrate for a while. Um, it has oils in it that help with mental focus and clarity. So I'm trying to look here because my eyes are not so good, but we have frankincense in here, which is great for emotional balance. It's a very grounding oil. Uh, it helps with mental focus. I love frankincense. So if you're, if you're new to essential oils and you never heard of frankincense, I think it should be in everyone's home. It's just 
for everything. If you have anxiety, if you have depression, if you just need to have um, to help relax, or if you need focus, it's going to do all of those things. Um, hi, Tanya. How are you? Uh, the next thing I wanted to go into, so that's um, uh, in tune. I meant to say, if you are dealing with a child that needs some help in that area, apply it to their spine before they go to school and before they do homework. You can also, again, do the bottom of the feet, and then this way you're not going to smell the scent of essential oil. Some people don't like the smell. You might not. It depends if you like it or not, but if the child doesn't like it, on the bottom of the feet, it's a great place to put it. But for an adult, I love the smell of it. You can put it behind your ears, on your temples, wherever you feel like it's going to be close enough to to get that, uh, you know, the aroma of the oil. But as it goes into your body, it's going to help you with these issues that you might be dealing with. Okay, the next thing I want to go into um, for teachers for a moment. If you, I know I used to be a teacher actually. I don't know if uh, anybody on here knows that, but. Uh, I used to teach middle school, very stressful. I give teachers a ton of credit. I really don't know how uh, you come home every day and, and you just go about your day after because I found it extremely exhausting. Uh, you're just dealing with so many personalities, so many children, so many children, so many things to have to do. Uh, teachers are extremely, they're, they're, I'm very respected in my, in my uh, mind. They, um, they need to relax actually at night. So we have some oils that help with relaxation and my number one pick for people that have stressful jobs, uh, teachers, moms, you know, anybody that's dealing with children all day, I think deserves to use some lavender. Uh, lavender is a very relaxing oil. You can put it on your body, you can put it on your sheets, on your pillow at night, and it's gonna just help you relax, help bring you down. Um, I use lavender multiple times a day, pretty much every day. If you deal with anxiety or stress, or your child does, and they have trouble sleeping, you can do a couple of things. First, you can put it in, in the diffuser, and I love lavender at night with uh, frankincense, and sometimes I'll put in an oil, which I don't have. Oh, I do have it here. It's called Breathe. So Breathe is a respiratory blend, which I love. And what you can do with Breathe is you can put four drops in the diffuser and four drops of lavender, and it's going to help with uh, relaxation, stress, and clear airways. So while you're going to sleep, if you have some congestion, you can use those three oils together. Um, so that's a great thing to have if, have uh, on hand. Lavender also, I like to put it in my body lotion. So if you're trying to have your child kind of decompress at night or you need to decompress, put some lavender in some unscented body lotion. So I just use coconut oil, actually. I don't even use lotion anymore. You can buy the tub, the, the uh, hardened version of the coconut oil. You can use a fractionated version. But just put a few drops of lavender in your hands and rub it on your body. And it's very, very uh, rejuvenating to the skin. And it's going to help your body kind of calm down. You could put a couple of drops in the bath if you like to give your child a bath and you want them to relax there. That's fine as well. Um, and also just a couple of drops on the pillow at night before you go to bed. Uh, lastly, if you want to put it on your body to help you sleep, you can put it behind your ears, you can put it on your chest, on the bottoms of your feet, it's wherever you feel it's gonna help you the most. But you only need a couple of drops, maybe two or three at the most. Okay, uh, there's another oil, which I don't have in front of me right now, but if you are dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety, we have an oil called Serenity, and that's a great oil. It contains uh, some oils that, are, that really help with bringing your, um, What's the word I'm looking for? If you feel like that high anxious level in your body helps bring that down. Uh, vetiver and cedarwood are in there and lavender and there's a couple other oils inside of that blend of serenity. So I would recommend that if you feel like you're really needing a little bit more than just one, you know, than just lavender. Okay, so as the kids come home from school, obviously they're hungry, you want to give them a healthy snack. Now you're dealing with homework time. You know, how do you get everyone to kind of you know, simmer down at the, at the end of the day. Uh, you know, if you're shuffling to sports and things like that, obviously that's a whole, you know, other animal. But if you're going to sit down to do homework with the kids, I would suggest in the diffuser for sure, you want to do um, your mental clarity blend. So that would be the rosemary, peppermint, wild orange is great. You can do frankincense. You can do um, uh, lemon. I love frankincense and lemon and lavender. It's just like enough to try to not to get everyone too tired, but just enough to calm, calm everyone down. I also do uh, balance in the afternoon. So I like balance. 
with uh, eucalyptus, which is a nice one for clearing the air. I do that as well in my home. So that's another option for you. So you can kind of pair uh, any oils that you want together, but generally uh, you want to stick with citrus oils to uplift the mood, um, peppermint to uplift, you know, to create like an alertness in the house, but to relax, you can go with like lavender, you could go with frankincense, you can go with um, vetiver, there's all different oils on that end. So there's the oils that uplift you and the oils that kind of bring you kind of down to a, a relaxation state. Okay, so I'm going to go through a couple more here. Just give me a second, I wrote some notes you guys. Okay, so after um, after you get the homework done, everyone's taking you know their showers and relaxing and doing all that, I want to move into now, you know, hopefully you have the diffuser thing going in the bedroom, you have your oils going in the morning, everybody's all set up there, but now we're dealing with seasonal issues. So that's something that seems to pop up for everyone. Uh, there's three oils, very simply, if you're dealing with people that have uh, colds, allergies, congestion, anything going on there. Lavender, lemon, and peppermint are going to be your go-to for anything congestion related up here. Uh, what I do is I make a roller bottle, actually, for my family, because this is something we deal with in the house. So you take a 10 milliliter roller bottle like this, and you can buy them on Amazon. And what I do is put 10 drops of each. It can be 10 drops of lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Okay, and then you add some coconut oil to the remainder of it, and you put the top on. So this is, if you're not familiar with any of this, you put, there's a top that comes with it, comes with it. you put it on, you shake it up, and you can leave it next to um, your bed, you can leave it in the bathroom, the kitchen, or you can put one in each kid's school bag. And what you do with that is you just put it behind the ears if they're feeling like they're having an allergy issue or a cold. You can put it um, on the back of the neck is another good place to do it. And also along the back of their spine. So any kind of seasonal issues, that's one thing that we keep on hand. We call an allergy bomb. And you can also put that in the diffuser. So the same oils that you use on your body, you can put in the diffuser. You can put um, four drops of lavender, lemon, and peppermint each in the diffuser. And that's going to help kind of uh, settle any uh, congestion that's going on naturally without having to use medication. Um, another thing I do, if you get a child that has any kind of uh, respiratory infection or, or anything like going on up there again, a cough, uh, you take a bowl of steaming hot water, okay, and then you put in there, and this seems to work for us every time, which is why I'm telling you this, uh, put two drops of oregano essential oil, um, one drop of the On Guard, which I mentioned to you before, and two drops of Breathe, which contains eucalyptus, lemon, and uh, other essential oils that are great for helping kind of calm everything going on in the respiratory system. And you put a towel over your head and you just let your, let the oils kind of, you know, inhale the oils for about five minutes. You don't do it any longer than that. And you do that a couple of times a day, and I, we never need medication. It seems to clear right up if there's anything going on in that area. So the second you feel that, instead of giving them medication right away, you can try that and see if it helps them. And I, I found it very effective. Okay, um, okay for homework, homework helper, uh, we do a lot of um, peppermint, lemon is coming up again, rosemary, frankincense. All those are great for homework. Um, another great one is, I'm sorry, I just skipped over something, for anxiety. This is what I wanted to go into, I just skipped it, forgive me. I know so many kids that are dealing with anxiety in their, with school. I mean, a lot of kids don't want to go to school, they have even stomach issues, they get sick often because they're so stressed out about going to school. So you definitely want to help calm them down with that. We have a couple of oils that really help with anxiety. Um, if you've never heard of bergamot, it's, an, it's a citrus oil. That one is especially good for anxiety. I would highly recommend that for your child. Um, lavender, of course, we spoke about. Uh, serenity. There's another oil called peace. Those are all great for any kind of anxious feelings going on. So you can pretty much give your child a, um, you know, like a helper. So if they're going to school and they know, like even for an adult, if you have an issues with anxiety, but you know you, you can carry around a roller bottle with you that's going to help calm you down, and you'll find that the oils will help, help you feel better within minutes. Um, you can kind of 
empower your child. Give them the roll bottle, take to school with them. Tell them to put it on when they start to feel a little anxious and they'll feel so much better about going to school and leaving home and being in a place where they aren't sure of themselves. So I would highly recommend you give them a bottle of peace or um, lavender, something simple, and let them carry it with them to school. Uh, bergamot and lavender are great together. Uh, you can make a roll of bottle of that with 10 drops of each for your child and put some uh, fractionated coconut oil in with that. And that's something that they can take with them to school. So I would recommend that um, pretty much for anybody that's dealing with anxiety. Um, we always carry, I actually don't have it with me right now, but uh, I carry like a little travel case and I put in there all the, my most, the most highly used, I'm not, I'm not even making sense, my most used oils basically lavender peppermint frankincense on guard i have them with me all the time and you can put them on when you need them if your child needs it or you need it just carry it around with you just like you would anything else in your purse that you need often okay so if you guys have any questions you can feel free to post them on here but ideally what you want to do is try to get into a routine with your kids where you have um you know, some healthy habits that you can adopt. So I would say, I know it's a lot of information I just threw out at you, but you can have uh, your morning routine with the diffuser going, the on guard, just to recap, on guard on their body, um, morning and night, that's one routine right there. They come home from school, you do your, your next diffuser with the peppermint and the rosemary and the orange, um, do that in the afternoons, give them a little help with homework. You have your in tune for focus, um, and you give them, give them the lavender for anxiety. And then at night, again, diffuse lavender to relax, serenity, peace, those are all great. And you have yourself a little routine. And after a couple of weeks of doing one thing, you add in another, add in the probiotic, add in the toothpaste. And the next thing you know, you have basically transformed your family from one way to a healthier lifestyle. And you'll start to see that everyone's a little calmer in the house, everyone's feeling a little healthier. And you won't have to worry as much about running to the store for medications, running to the doctor every time there's a problem. Um, okay, so I'm going to close it up now. What I want to tell you guys lastly is when you're using essential oils, again, there's a very big disparity between quality. And so I chose this company, which is called doTERRA. So if you look at the label right there, and the reason why I chose this company is because of their, um, te their testing, the way their oils are sourced. Um, they are the largest essential oil company in the world. Our oils are 100% free of fillers, toxins, pesticides, chemicals. So you can be assured that the oil that you're getting in here is going to do is going to do what it's supposed to do. Uh, we carry a label that that's um, known as Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade, which is right at the top there, and it's great for you know you you'll know that you're getting you know, what you need for your, you and your children. But what I do want to say lastly is a lot of people will think that they can go to Amazon or, you know, some other internet company and buy the oils at a more discounted price. What I want to bring out to you is they are not legal distributors of this company. And so what happens is a lot of people, there was a lot of shady people, unfortunately, on, uh, you know, certain websites, including Amazon, they will fill the bottle with another oil or the cut it with you know coconut oil or something else and reseal it and you won't know the difference and you'll be buying an oil where you can't guarantee the safety and purity of it. So what I recommend to you is you get it directly from the company and you'll know what you're getting is safe and that it's real and it's pure. And we offer um, a wholesale discount which you'll get 25% off all, all your oils and that's the best price you're going to get for these oils. So if you're interested in getting them, you have questions, you can contact me at amandapurefit at gmail.com. That's by email. You can go to my website at purefitwomen.fit and uh, I can help you get them. You can go direct to my website there and it explains everything. And if you are part of our essential oil community, you'll have support, you'll have you know, somebody answer your questions, somebody teach you the right way to use them. A lot of times people get their oils and then they just sit in the box because they don't know what to do with them. So if you are, you know, thinking about doing this, just reach out to me. You can message me on here if you like. If you have questions after, feel free to, you know, write them down. I can respond. And um, 
you know, I appreciate your time. And hi, Milagros. I just saw you pop on there. So I see that you wrote, can you get the On Guard products online? Yes. So I was just going through that. You can go to uh, purefitwomen.fit on my website. Click on essential oils and you'll see the drop down there and all the instructions are on there. And you can get, they have a whole line of On Guard on the, on the website. So it'll take you right to doTERRA. And we, I personally use all their natural products from my home. I kind of, uh, little by little, made the, you know, the transition with my family. It's been great so far. So I thank you guys for your time. If you have questions, feel free to reach out again. And I hope this was helpful for you. And thank you very much. Have a good night.